Hi everybody. Welcome to yanderesimulator.org YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install or update PostMod. It's easy. In the video description or comment, you'll find the download links for PostMod. You can either use Mega or Mediafire, but I recommend trying Mega first since it always gets updated first. In the Mega page, just press here where it says, Download as zip, or select these files, right-click, and press download. In the Mediafire page, right-click this file and press download, then wait for it to finish downloading. Once it's downloaded, you can press here to find where the zip is, right-click the zip file, and press extract. Then just move these files into the entire simulator folder, and that's it. PostMod is installed. To run the game with PostMod, you use one of these files. Try this one first. If you run the other file, it will run the game without PostMod. Sometimes when you run PoseMod, you might see an error that says it's missing VC runtime 140. That can be fixed. It's a normal Windows component that's missing, and you just have to install it once. In the text file, how to install PoseMod, you can find the download link to that component. Just download it and run it. If you see a message like this, then you can press, more info, and then, run anyway. Or if an antivirus also gives you a warning, you can somewhere set it as a false positive. The reason why these messages appear sometimes is because of the way PoseMod works. PoseMod injects code into Yandere Simulator so that you have the Pose Mode menu and stuff. But Windows or antiviruses don't know what PoseMod is. If you're installing Pose Mod on an older game that uses Unity version 4 or 5, then there might be some issues getting Pose Mod to run. If you try to run Pose Mod normally and it crashes, then let's try using a side injector. It's a second way that we can try to inject Pose Mod's code into the game. Let's start with this one called Doorstop. To install it, just copy these files into the game folder. Now we need to change a setting in this file. We need to define which Unity version this game is. To know which Unity version the game is, just try to run PostMod again and it will appear here. In this case, it's Unity 4. So in this file, we set it this way for Unity 4. If it were Unity 5, it would look like this. And if it were Unity 2017, it would look like this, and so on. Now that Doorstop is installed, we must always use the game's own application instead of PostMod. PostMod should run fine now. If even with doorstop, the game still crashes or just isn't open with PostMod, then it might be some other reason that it's unlikely it can be fixed. In the Assets folder, you can define a custom PostMod menu background image or cursor image by replacing these two files. PoseMod's download comes with a few example images in this folder, and outside the PoseMod folder, there's another folder with some more images that people have shared. You can use any image that you want, just make sure that the image has the same name as the example file that you're replacing. That's it, now you know how to install or update PoseMod and how to customize it. If you have any issues or questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.